Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is a video of my first and probably only haul I'm going to do for the Criterion sale. I'm trying to cut back on this stuff. I have so many to watch so far as it is that I haven't catch up with. And I think I just added... Have I seen any of these? Mm, I've seen I've seen bits and pieces of one of them, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. So this is another situation where I, I'm buying things I haven't seen and then putting them on the shelf because of course I am. But um, this is from the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale that's going on right now. It's um, it's middle of July right now, and uh, it's going on for at least a couple more weeks. So if I do want to buy more, I can, but I don't think I will. But we'll see. I don't know. I got five titles here, two of which I got in store and three I didn't. I got an order from the, the website because the two stores I went to did not have any of them, so I just had to bite the bullet and buy online. But um, the first one I got is La Samurai. Um, this one was very highly praised online, and it's one that I only heard of. I don't know anything about it besides the fact that it's it's very well praised, and it's by Jean-Pierre Melville. And um, I wanted to watch it, and so I got it. That's all. That's really all there is to these. Like, a lot of these are some I've heard of and just haven't got a chance to watch. Like I said, there's one that I've seen the ending of, basically, and I don't know anything else about it because I haven't seen it. And now I have it, so anyway. Here's the synopsis, and you can read that if you want. <clears throat> Special features. A new high-definition digital restoration. Interview with uh, Ryu Nogira. Nogira? Well, no, no. Uh, a couple interviews with Melville. A short documentary exploring the friendship between the director and the actor. Trailer and an essay. So the usual stuff. Typical Criterion stuff. Um, I do love buying these though. There's just it's just so cool when it's supposed to buying like mainstream movies. There's so many things in Criterion that are just so interesting. At the, at this, at the very least, that they're just different topics you don't hear about, or they're not. They're just done differently, or I don't know. It's probably a hipster thing at this point. So many people buy these just because I'm probably one of them now. Oops, I dropped one of those. Single disc. I think all of these are single discs because they don't even make those anymore, really. Um, some nice background art. Let's take the... It's actually a book. This is rare. A rarity. I took that background at first. That's pretty cool. I like that scene. Put the disc back here. and Let's take a look at the booklet quick. Booklets, though... I, I love getting them because they're it's more information to read about. But they, they, the edges are always fucked up. It's just too bad. I rarely have gotten one that has a pristine edge. That's uh, the cast and credits. Let me take a look at here. Cast and credits, Death in White Gloves, from Cassius du Cinema, the Melville style, by Jean Wu. Melville on La Samurai and up on the transfer. Usual stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, a couple essays, that's cool. So I'm, going, I'm assuming he's an assassin or something, but I don't... Honestly, I don't want to read much. I like going into these without knowing much. Besides just a quick synopsis. I don't want to know any more. But, um... Presented in its original aspect, should play fine. Black and here. Top of them. Okay. Protection credits, special thanks. Special stuff. And some photos, of course. Neato. So that's the first one. La Samurai. Number th uh, spine number 306. 1967. This is just released this year, right? No, last year. Yeah, 2017. Second film I got is Dreams, or Akira Kurosawa's Dreams. I have only seen a couple of his films. My favorite being, um, what the fuck? Uh, High and Low. I don't know what it is about that film. I just like, it's not even a samurai film. It's a contemporary, well, Japanese film, in, uh, like a business contemporary film. And it's, uh, I just, I loved it. I thought that it was just a great film. I'm, I'm just rambling about it from film. But, uh, I enjoy Kurosawa, the stuff he's made. I want to watch more of them, and I, so I want to collect more of them. This film is apparently good. It's from 1990. It's by number 842. This is a series of vignettes. Yeah. Unfolding a series of eight mythic vignettes. This late work by Akira Kurosawa was part of the beloved director's own nighttime visions, along with direct stories and Japanese folklore. That's awesome. I like that idea. 120 minutes. Um, so that's artwork. I assume that's just a drawing. Maybe he's one of his drawings. I don't know. 
Cure for Some Streams. Um, new restoration, 4K digital transfer, commentary from film scholar, making of, 150-minute documentary shot on set and directed by Nobuhiko Obayashi. Interview with production manager, interview with assistant director, Chris I was way, 50-minute documentary, that's cool, there's a lot of documentaries in here. I like that, 150-minute documentary and a 50-minute documentary, cool. Hayao Miyazaki, cool. Mars for City, University of English subtitle translation, no. and then a booklet, of course. Simple disc. And another booklet, that's awesome. Two in a row. And some, like, kabuki background stuff, or whatever's going on there. Hmm. Again, like, the edges are a little frayed, but not so bad this time. usual stuff. This is probably boring for you to see this if I don't actually have to talk about the film, so sorry. But um, very cool. I'm looking forward to watching these. I'm looking forward to watching all of them, like I always say, but then I, of course, don't watch them. This next one is, I believe, this is actually a very recent release. This is 2018. I think this was released just this last month, I think. But uh, then again, you know what? I think I've seen this one too, but it's been a long goddamn time, so I don't remember anything about it. It's got Kirsten Dunst in it, right? Kirsten Dunst? Right? Yeah, Kirsten Dunst. Josh Hartnett, apparently. Jeffrey Unidine, I know that name. He wrote a, a book called Intersex, I think, that I read a while ago. It was pretty good. Director of Poof Sticker. Director of, I think I said a Director of Pooved. A uh, Director of Poof Sticker. Very special edition. Let's open this up. I can feel this one's very light, so it's just a pamphlet in there. Which is lame, but typical at least. The Birds and Suicides by Sophia Coppola. I've only I've seen, the only movie I've seen with her, I think, well, wait a second. I've seen lots of translation and loved it. I haven't seen it in years, but I remember really enjoying that. Well, that'd be a good criterion release at some point. It's a nice disc. What is that? Some people looking at some map or something. I can't tell. And it's a pamphlet, of course, which is normal. And then... Some artwork on the back on here. Birds and suicides. Birds and suicides. <laughs> Cecilia Lisbon. <clears throat> Oops. This appears to be just one essay. Hadn't heard us calling. Hmm. Usual stuff. I like what I've seen from Sofia Coppola. I don't, like I guess I haven't seen as much from her. I can't remember anything else besides. That's not right. Um. Um. Lost in Translation. What else have I seen from her? She's done a couple films. I've only I've only seen a, like one of them, apparently. I think I've seen more than that. I can't think of any more. But uh, I wanted to get this one, and it looked cool, and it's, you know, Virgin Suicides, blah, blah, blah. Spine number 8. Oh, shit. 920, I can read. From 1999. Read daughter. Cool, cool. And this is Midnight Cowboy. I haven't seen any of this. I've heard good things about it. But... John Boyd, Dustin Hoffman, I don't know. It's from 1969, and it's spine number 9, I can't read that, 921, I think. Let's find out. 925. Close enough, I guess. Hmm... John Schlesinger, Schlesinger. Synopsis. New 4K transfer, DTS, 
HD Master Audio commentary from John Schlesinger. New video essay, new photo gallery. It's a nice short film made one location for an, an Academy Award nominated documentary. Two short documentaries in 2004. And from John Voigt on the David Frost Show in 1970, Voigt's original screen test. Does some, some little oh, cool. There's a lot of stuff on here. Hmm. I remember this was that's one thing I do remember. I remember it was X rated at the time because there wasn't any other rating system because it's 1969 and they didn't have like PG 13 or I don't know if they did they even have R yeah they had yes it's R right there yeah here's the disc very plain but with the theme though with the color theme. Pamphlet. Hmm. Actually, I haven't seen very many films with, with a young John Voight. I really only remember, uh, have seen films with him in the last twenty odd years. So it'd be cool to see him in a younger, a younger John Voight. I think he's a little batshit crazy now or something, but I don't know. He's cool. That's, that's uh, Angelina Jolie's uh, father. Right? Yeah. On the fringe. So one essay in here, though. Hmm. Oh, shit. All right, and here's the last one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Graduate. I have seen the end of this, and I think everyone has at this point. 1967, uh, spine number 800, right? You can see that, right? Yeah. Um, my wife wanted to watch this, and I hadn't, I didn't own it. And it's been out for a year now or so, right? Two years, 2016. I didn't mean to get it, but I just didn't. I actually haven't bought a whole lot of Criterion in the last year. Probably because I own so many fucking Criterion that I haven't watched, so, you know. Add to the pile, right? the synopsis four K restoration um, with audio commentary two thousand seven audio commentary eighty seven new interview with Dr. Tuff Knopfman new conversation between pro producer Lawrence Trimmett and screenwriter Buck Henry new interview with film writer historian Bobby Osteen a short documentary seven. Lots of documentaries, lots of interviews, lots of featurettes. Cool. Today's show. Esther from a 1970 appearance by singer-songwriter Paul Simon on the Dick Cavett Show. Screen test trailer and an essay. The year was 1967. The year was... Dominica was two years later. Okay, I thought about, for me I thought it was the same. Here's Justin Hoffman, The Graduate. I just realized I have like three or four criterions with Dustin Hoffman in them. I did not do that on purpose. Oh, there's the scene. This is Benjamin. Be a little worried about his future. <laughs> Hello, Benjamin. I figured it out. You didn't need your help. I almost had to call for help. And that's The Graduate. That's all of them. Graduate, Midnight Cowboy, The Virgin Suicides, Akira Kurosawa's Dreams, and La Samurai. Looking forward to all of them. How about you guys give me a... Well, of these five, which one do you think I should watch first? I'm not really sure. I'm tempted to watch La Samurai first, just because... I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by all of them, but maybe Little Samurai or maybe Midnight Cowboy. I'm not sure. But uh, 
Thanks for watching, guys, like usual. Um, this is fun. I like buying these fucking movies, but I need to start watching them, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you around later. <laughs> thanks for watching, bye.